Today we're going to go over some basic uh, file manipulation, kind of a, a second part. Uh, we'll go over tail and some of its options. Uh, regex in general, just kind of what regex is, um, how to use it, what to use it for. A little bit more with grep and egrep, uh, sed, and then uh, sort and unique. Uh, so the first thing, uh, just going over tail uh, and the dash n and dash f flags particularly. If you're looking through log files, uh, you want to particularly look for a certain number of files at the end, uh, or a number of lines at the end. Uh, you want to do tail dash n, and that'll give me the last thousand lines of a file. If I want to only see the last 10 lines, I can just do an in dash in 10 and the log file. And this is helpful if I want to go back and look for a bunch of things. I can also do a dash F, which will keep tail running and open on that file. So if a file, uh, if the file changes, it will display it directly in the uh, window. And this is useful if you're looking at log files that are currently ongoing, like, uh, for example, in this case, I'm looking at my DHCP server handing out uh, requests to uh, systems that are requesting DHCP. And to get out of that, I hit Control-C, and Control-C is pretty universal for just closing programs that are open um, in the command line. Now, Going on to uh, regex, uh, re regex is short for regular expressions, and regular expressions are very, very, very powerful. They're kind of complicated, uh, but very useful. Uh, for example, it's more or less like find and replace in Word. So regular expressions allow you to do a much more powerful version of find and replace. Um, it allows you to do pattern matching, uh, whereas if I wanted to search for a word, any word of any length, and replace it with the number zero, I can do that fairly easily with this regular expression. That can be useful if you're looking through a log file or you're looking through something and you want to delete, uh, say you're only looking for the number of one or look, looking for something there uh, in particular. Now, how you re use regex is really where it comes in, but pretty much all of these uh, commands I'm going to go over, with the exception of grep, pretty much use regex um, and make it really powerful to search and, and, and filter through information quickly. So say I go back to this tail-f, and I have a lot of information here that I don't really need. Like, I know that I'm on my local server, which is Jarvis, and I don't really care so much about that. I can do a, you know, sed, which is a stream editor, and it allows me to do regex on this. I can search for Jarvis and I just want to get rid of it, so I'll replace it with nothing. The delimiters here are the forward slash. This is what I'm searching for, Jarvis. And I'm using another forward slash to designate the, the next uh, delimiter. The next uh, thing is empty. I want to replace it with nothing, so I just basically put nothing there. And then another delimiter, and then G is for global, so if it hits multiple instances of Jarvis, it will uh, replace all of them. Otherwise, if I didn't put that G in there, if this line had Jarvis three other times over here, it wouldn't replace those other ones. So it, by line, it will replace any instance where it sees Jarvis. So I'll put that in there. And you can see that we got rid of this Jarvis in here. And I want this to be a little more aggressive. I want to put that space in there too, so it makes it a little easier to format. Or say I wanted to format this with a tab, I can do a, a, uh, a backslash T, and that's an escape character, uh, which tells the computer that I want a tab. 
And that would be useful if I'm outputting this to, say, a, a CSV file. I could open it up in a program like Excel and be able to sort it by column. Uh, to put this a little more powerfully, say I know EM1 is my Ethernet card. I can rename EM1 to Ethernet 0. So I can make a, a visual cue to myself. Now it's important to note that said only works with the current like standard out. So if I uh, do said while I'm while I'm piping this tail to said, it doesn't actually change or or alter the file in any way. It just allows me to view it a lot uh, more easily. Now if I did want to output this to a, a new file, um, like say replacing Jarvis with nothing. How many are the F here? I'm going to take the last 100 uh, lines and replace Jarvis with nothing. I'm going to output that to a new file called uh, I'll call it messages.edited and I'll hit enter. Now if I just output that file from cat, we can see it got rid of Jarvis there because in my var log messages it has Jarvis there. That's just a simple example um, and it can be used a lot more powerfully. It's also useful if you have a config file and you want to change every instance of a word. Um, say I was moving my server Jarvis to the server Pepper and assuming my var log messages was a config file, I could rename Jarvis to Pepper for Pepper Pots right there. And now if I cat messages, we can see that everywhere there was Jarvis, it's now Pepper. Like we'll also go over uh, the use of grep and egrep. But we want to just search for DHCP acts. or DHCP acknowledgement. I can grep for that. But say I want to use a regular expression like I can with said. Well to do that I would use egrep. And say I want to find anything with DHCP. I can use egrep to find DHCP. But egrep also allows me to look f uh, to use uh, regex it doesn't use the same formats with, format with the delimiters, but it allows me to use uh, certain things in regex, like if I want to search for a word, a word of any length, in regex I would use a slash w plus to find words of any length, and it highlights everything. Or if I want to search for the number 0 through 9, it will highlight just the numbers 0 through 9. And that can be useful, particularly in this case. Uh, I want to find numbers. It'll highlight those numbers. Say I wanted to highlight the date here, I can use regular expressions, which I'm not going to get into here. Uh, the regex for dates look fairly complicated. But it would be fairly trivial to find them on the internet. and find just the dates and highlight those or, or get rid of those in the uh, output. So egrep is basically the regex version of, of, e of grep. And I'll go to the man page real quick just to uh, go a little more detailed, show you the, all the different options of egrep. Egrep is part of grep it just has different functionality. It's also uh, the same as, as saying grep-e. 
and fgrep would be the same as grep-f. The benefits of using egrep uh, to regular grep is just the power and ability to use regular expressions as opposed to just plain text search. The last thing I want to cover is sort and unique. Um, if I have two lists of files, um, for example, if I take this, we'll populate a.txt with a few a's in it. we can see that there's just a bunch of A's. Now if I do the same thing, and I say b to b.txt, I have a bunch of B's. Now say I cat a bunch of B's to A, and I'll throw a couple C's in there as well. And I'll put a a in there again, and a Z, or an X, can't type or say what I'm typing, and a Q. So now if I cat a.txt, we have a bunch of lines that are all out of order. If I want to cat them and now sort the output, this will put it in alphabetical order. As you can see, A, A, B, C, Q, X. And that's useful if you have a list and you want it sorted. Sort also takes all sorts of options. I'll do a sort double dash help to show you some of the options it can do. Particularly, it can be dash F for ignoring cases. This is useful if you have both upper and lower case because by default it treats them as separate entities. So A would rank higher, or lowercase a would uh, rank uh, differently than a uppercase A. So it would go lowercase a through z and then uppercase a through z. So if you want them where it's mixed case, you want to use dash F you can also uh, change the way it sorts whether you, you can do a random sort or you can do a reverse sort. Random might be useful if you want to randomize the output of the file and reverse might be uh, useful if you want to go Z to A as opposed to A to Z. So we'll do the same thing. We'll do a sort dash R so now we do X, Q, C, 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 B, 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 A, and so on. Now if we do a randomized, it's all over the place. And we can keep doing it for different outputs. Um, I can also say cat is useful, and actually cat stands for concatenate. Cat allows me to take multiple files and put them into a single output. Now I can do this same thing on both files and do a sort, and it sorts them all nice in alphabetical order. I can now also do unique, and those are the unique characters that I have in the file. So I might have a bunch of different A's, but A is the only unique in there. Now if I say um, one, it'll also, it shows me the unique text on each line, so it matches each line and shows me unique output from that. If I now say I want to see the uniques that are only done once, I do a unique dash u. I'll do a unique double dash help to show the options on unique, which are count. That'll tell you how many times 
um, it's uh, occurred. You want to see only the repeated characters, which is the dash D, um, or d capital D for all of the duplicates, or you U for truly unique lines, meaning no duplicates. So that's why it's only showing me three letters, because A and B have both been duplicated a bunch of times. And this way, we've actually gone over a little bit of what cat does as well, which is concatenating files together. That's the end of the video. Uh, we've gone over basics of, like, tail uh, with the dash N and dash F uh, flags on them. A general overview of at least what regex is, maybe not fairly in-depth, but just what it is. Um, grep and its subcommand egrep and how it's useful, as well as sed and unique and sort and how they're useful in finding unique in information and sorting that information. Thank you for watching.